judgment now. Colin's lost his quavers, and here's the man for the job to find them. So he's got to go down the holes. But first of all, there's a few puzzles to find the quavers. The first level's quite simple. But then you get the different blocks. Here, use a tumbler. The idea is to set that trigger domino off at the bottom. The tumbler rebounds and hits the trigger. And there you have it. Here we've got an ascender. So what are we going to do with this one? Basically just hit it. Up it goes, hits the yellows and triggers into the next level. You've got a tumbler here and a bridger. Hit the tumbler, which hits the bridger, and across it goes. And in you go. Here we have a splitter. It splits going both ways and then hits the trigger. But get down that ladder pretty quick. It's a race against time, you know. Here's an exploder. So what do you do with that one? Well, watch. And off it goes. Hits the trigger, and you're home. Take the stopper down to the second platform. The idea is that the normal dominoes will bounce off each stopper like so, but you have to get down those ladders, jump down to the platform, jump down again, and run. Remember the time limit, and you're home. And here we have a vanisher. Now what do we do with a vanisher? It's not much good really, so put it first. Move your vanisher to the first position, hit the vanisher, sets off the explosion and splits, now jump down, you're still against time, and you're home. Now here you've got a tumbler, among the many, plus a delay, so you want to hit the delay with your normal. Sets off the tumbler, rebounds, hits the bridge, jump down with the time, and you're home. Ah, you found your first packet of quavers. That makes Colin very happy. How sweet. Here's the first of the Aztec levels. Things get a bit more complex. But we'll sort that out. So take the bridger to where you want to bridge it, which is at the edge, of course. There's the bridger. And you want the ascender in front of that one. That's the ascender.
set it all off with a tumbler. That's your tumbler. Come on, we're up against time here, you know. Now just push it. And there you go. Ascends. Hits the normal dominoes. Falls down. Triggers. And you're home. Now we're on to level 20. The code here is 15362. Again, it's an Aztec level. Things are getting complicated again, so you have to shuffle things around a bit. Then on to level 30. The code is 08718. Things get a bit spacey here. Bit confused, eh? And now on to level 40. The code here is 3734. Gets more complex all the time. Just remember you're up against time, so you've got to run down that ladder pretty fast once you set things off. And off he goes. On to level 50. The code here is 22046. Looks a bit Roman, you might think. Still up against time. On to level 60. The code here is 17470. Now that confused me. There's a few nice effects here. And on to level 70. The code again is 19071. Now don't copy everything we're doing here. We're just showing you around the few levels. You can see a bit of Meccano here. But we haven't set everything up right, so you can have to do that by yourself. On to level 80. The code here is 28927. Gets a bit gothic -y. Again, you can just see the effects of each domino as it's set up. We haven't done it exactly right. On to level 90, the code is 28671. Samurai style. Remember to get down that ladder. Down the ladder, I said. And on to level 100. The code is 44543. I found pushover more addictive than lemmings. It's a real brain teaser. But remember, have fun.